friends, what's up, what's going on? So today we're gonna be doing a video about piercings, as usual in the title. So those of you that have been with me for a minute, you know that I've had like a lot of different piercings, um, but I haven't really talked about them like a piercing type of video on the channel. Um, as far as the piercings that I have, I have my tongue pierced, I had this little piece right here, um, the tragus, I've had that done. I have up here, pierced. I had my belly button pierced. I used to have right here pierced, but um, I ended up taking it out and then I covered it over with a tattoo. And I also had my nipples pierced. You wanna see? Ha, gotcha, I'm just playing. <laughs> I actually thought about it, but I never actually got that done. I think that's about, oh, I had right here. I had the Marilyn, I think it's called the Marilyn Monroe or something like that. I've had that pierced as well. Took that out after a while. So now, um, I wanted to show you guys how to kind of like fake some piercings so you don't have to go through all that pain, all that trauma, whatever, because I know I had a bad experience with the last one that I did, which was about a year ago. I did a video about it. I'll definitely link it down below. I was kind of inspired by Glamazante. She did a similar video, and I was like, you know what? I used to always, like, before I, well, I used to mix and match. Like, before I got my tongue piercing, there was a fake piercing that I used to have on. Um, I also used to do like magnetic piercings. And another thing I used to do, which you'll see, is sometimes I glue on like rhinestones. I even used to glue rhinestones on my teeth back in the days. But um, it's crazy how things that I used to do back before is like becoming trending now. Sometimes I get my stuff from eBay and the eBay prices are actually a little bit cheaper, but I did go on Etsy. Yeah, I found like several different like piercings that I bought. I bought about one, two, three, four, I guess like five of them I bought. So we're gonna go ahead and put them on. I haven't even taken them out. The packaging is really nice. But like I said, if I find any on eBay that I'll put them down below so you can kind of compare compare prices. Cause um, I mean, her prices are actually pretty good though. So you can check her out if you want. And it was good that I was able to get everything from one place so I didn't have to like, you know, go all over the place. All right, so let's see which one we have first. I may have to like pin my hair back so you guys can see my well, pin my wig back so y'all can actually see my ear. I think I'll do it all on this ear since this is the ear I like to like bore up. I like to put holes in. So, so I don't talk too much. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'll do a voiceover for the rest of this part of the video. All right. Here we go. So I'm putting in the first one. I actually learned later on that it was supposed to be on that other groove under. I don't know if this would actually be considered the deep, but I know it's supposed to be right under that, that little fold that's right under there. So I actually just Googled it real quick and I learned that the place where I put it is called the Rook and the other part right under is where the deep was supposed to go. So maybe that's why it kept on falling off. Anyway, so I just put on the Tragus one. I showed you guys the box and everything. The packaging was pretty nice. So you can tell she put like, you know, she put a little work into it. So first I tried to put it up there and I ain't really like the way that looked. <laughs> that was way too high and it just didn't look cute. So I ended up putting it where I wanted it to put it, which is the conch area, which is lower than where it is now. I have so many earrings. It definitely looked a lot better right there. Wouldn't you agree? It was so hard to do this with the nails on y'all. Look at look at that. You can't even see what's going on. So this is the lip one. It's called uh, I think like a double lip ring because it has like she made it with two wires. So and most of them I picked sterling silver. You can pick the kind of wires that you want, like whatever metal you want to use. The nose, it was pretty cool. That one wasn't hard to put on at all. And this is the one I used in this bad gal video where I did a fake piercing a few years ago, but it didn't look right because it was like a bronzy color. I'm like, uh, I got everything that's like silver right now, so it's clashing. So that's why I went ahead and switched it with that one. That one was like one of those little press, it's like a springy type of thing. I got it from eBay a little while ago. The one that I put is the symptom piercing. Now I'm just using some glue, bada bing, bada boom. Just, it has to dry, so I was like doing some other stuff for a little while, letting it dry a little bit. And then I went ahead and put the Savorsky crystals on there. And they definitely do stay on. Okay, so I wanted to go out with a bang, so I decided to put one more than I was initially going to put. Um, I think this one is called the Medusa. 
So I decided I wanted to do that one. I'm just trying to look for a good rhinestone that I want to use. So now we're just going to do that last one. Okay. So here we go. We have, let's see how many we have. I don't even know because I kind of lost track. We have the date. We have the tragus. We have the conch. We have these, which I don't know. We'll just call them face, piercer, face piercings. So that's five. Uh, we have a nose ring. That's six. We have the septum. That's seven. We have the medusa. That's eight. And we have the lip ring. That's nine. The ones that I like the best, uh, the septum is pretty comfortable. It doesn't really bother me. Um, I've worn septum, fake septum piercings before, but it's not really... I don't know. I don't feel like I look all that good with it, so I don't really wear it. Um, the nose ring, I'm not really a nose ring kind of girl, but it does kind of look cute, but I think it would be either one or the other, not both. Um, I always wear these. <laughs> I've been wearing these for like years. When I go to events, a lot of times I'll have two rhinestones and they stay all day until I'm ready to take it off. What I used was eyelash glue, um, latex-free eye eyelash glue, since I don't wear um, lashes anymore. I just use magnetic lashes, so I don't need the glue anymore. Right here, I use the same glue. And I actually like this now. This might be my thing going forward. We'll see. Um, the lip here seems super uncomfortable. It just feels like it's going to fall off any minute. And then it made my lipstick go all over the place, so that wasn't cute. Um, the conch is cute. I like it. I love the tragus, so I'm definitely going to be using that quite often. The date, I might have to use it somewhere else because it just it keeps on falling off it's fallen off a few times um as i've been recording this video so i might end up putting it like somewhere like right here i forgot what that that particular spot is called i just feel like i'm gonna lose it very easily although it's in right now i feel like it's gonna be gone soon. so actually where i had it was called the rook but i switched it to the forward helix if you're gonna do it and you use press on nails like i do definitely put it on before you put your nails on but um, that's pretty much the video. Let me get a thumbs up if you like. Um, if this can help somebody that, you know, before they actually go out there and take the leap to do the whole piercing thing, <laughs> then definitely, um, you know, share this video so they can get some ideas and they can try it out before they do it. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one.